Um, I see my next guest is on. I'm going to go ahead and add her. Go ahead and send me a request. But while I'm waiting on my next guest, guys, what is your definition of um let me unpin this of leadership because it could be very very subjective and i would like to know from you guys in the comments what is your definition of leadership hey guys and make sure to share this out to at least five people so they can join the conversation i'm having these leadership chats all week the next one is on wednesday i'm going to have like oh my goodness i think i got like five or six people on wednesday it's about to be crazy. Hey, Alex. Hi. How are Good. you doing? How are you? I'm doing amazing. You are my second guest today for the Leadership Plus Lifestyle Meets Legacy series. Um, I chose special women who are who exude leadership without even having to like most times. When people think of leadership is like oh i'm a supervisor i'm a program director i'm a ceo no leadership is internal so i had to have you on here to have the conversation uh just to share about yourself and everything that you have going on because my audience is meeting your audience and vice versa i'll have you introduce yourself and i'll do the same and we'll jump right in awesome well thank you first of all thank you for having me on um this is a very special topic for me um, but yeah, so my name is Myra de Leon, Myra de Leon. I am an entrepreneur. I own a couple of businesses. I'm also the founder of Enliven Society. We recently just changed the name. I don't know if you, if you, uh, yeah, if you saw that, <laughs> um, which is a community for women, um, to find empowerment, education, connection. We um, create events anywhere from, you know, educational workshops all the way to um, healing and transformative retreats. Mm -hmm. So we have something for everyone. And that's where God's leading me now. So, yeah, so that's what I've been doing and just letting, you know, the flow of the universe kind of take over. But leadership, um, it's a very important topic to me because I've never really, in the past, never really felt like I could be a leader. Um, and mm -hmm. even though everyone always told me, you know, that I had leadership um, skills and I could be a good leader, I mean, I would hear it in school, I would hear it at church, I would hear it everywhere I would go. And I guess because of the self-confidence issues that I had in the past, like it just never really, you know, connected with me. Um, but I am just so excited and so um, um, blessed. Sorry, I have like three languages in my head. You're fine. Blessed that I, you know, am giving this opportunity to lead women to be better and to reach poten the highest potential in every area of their lives. I love that. So guys, if you're joining for the first time, I'm Lashana. I'm a business therapist and leadership coach. And I used to label myself as a mindset coach, which is cool. But at the end of the day, mindset is a part of leadership, whether it's a growth mindset, whether it is a success mindset. Once you change those kind of habits, you're going to elevate to a leadership internally, which then exudes leadership on the outside. So I work one-on-one -on -one with clients. I have do group coaching. And I also have a content space in Marietta called Pop Up and Create, where we host multi-purpose events from self-care to wellness, therapeutic, uh, business stuff. And it's funny because when people walk into our space, the first thing that they say, they say, oh my God, the energy in here is so good and it motivates me to create. So I see our space as a hub for all of the things that only came because I was confident enough as a leader to say, you know what, this is what the people need. This is what I want to do and just let it flow. So I want to thank you for being vulnerable and sharing about the, the mindset piece that you had initially about being a leader, but trust and believe we all go through those negative thoughts, self-sabotage, imposter syndrome. It hits us in different ways. But the beauty of it is we're able to come through it, right? Yeah. Um, so tell, tell me this. When you started your business, which is, well, this, because I know you have many, but let's just focus on the Eliven Society. Is that how you? Eliven. Eliven. Okay, perfect. And tell me, where did that name come from? Like, what does that mean? So Eliven has um, a lot of uh, definitions, but... Um, what I love the most is when I was looking it up and it meant to give life to mm. or to give spirit to. So revive, um, to vivify. 
Like, and I was just like, oh my gosh, that is so aligned with what I am trying to do with and live in society with the society. Uh -huh. Um, and then all the projects that I have coming on at the end of this year, like it's, it was all aligned whenever I looked at that. Yeah. I was typing it up because I don't know if you, if you knew that I'm a graphic designer as well, actually yep. for, school, for graphic design. So I do all of the graphic for, uh, for the society. Are so bomb. I, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I get so many compliments and it's just like a thing that I, I love whenever people say that. Cause I'm like, it all paid off. Yep. Um, but even whenever I was typing it up to, you know, change the logo, I, I was typing it up and it said L I V E in the middle. And I was like, live, oh my gosh, to live, you know, yes. not just to exist, but to actually live. And that was huge for me. And that's whenever I decided that this was the name. I, I love that. Um, so being that you are in connections with an, a vast variety of women all over the world uh, in different cultures, backgrounds, upbringings, because I've actually spoken at one of your events and it was freaking amazing and i love the diversity of it how do you think that leadership and lifestyle right kind of is in alignment with the events that you have for these different women because there's different women from women in leadership roles women who are stay-at-home moms to women who are maybe in a nine to five wanting to side hustle really don't know what what to do so how do you connect like that leadership and that lifestyle piece to bring those events to the women and meet in a variety of needs, if that makes sense? Um, um, I'm going to answer this question the way I think that you're trying to, you know, ask uh -huh. it, let me know if I'm going out of the way. Um, but basically whenever, you know, AS society started, which was the old name, I wanted, um, a, a space where women can speak about anything. Yeah. Women can learn about anything. Um, I had been going to conferences to different events um, for years before COVID hit and then, you know, everything hit the fan. Yeah. But um, I had been learning, I had been studying, I had been going out to, you know, different events and conferences. And I, and I saw something that was very similar, which was, you know, they all had like a specific um, either niche or audience or just like one topic. So I went to, you know, entrepreneurship and usually it was like empowerment, entrepreneurship, um, networking, but we never had a community where we could talk about mental health, where we could talk about sex in a relationship, where we could talk about, you know, uh, domestic violence or any of those like taboo, you know, mm -hmm. that could be taboo topics, even like, you know, women, fertility issues and et cetera. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah. And, um, and I was like, I, I need to start this. I need to start something where we can talk about any of this, where we can create workshops and invite, invite speakers that can talk about different topics that the entrepreneur, the woman entrepreneur needs before anything. Like, sure. you know, success in a business is one thing, but if we're not aligned, you know, mind, body, soul, if we're not okay in those core areas, our, our business success means nothing. Period. No, that's fact. And you, what you said, I think what you're trying to ask, that's exactly what I was asking. Okay. <laughs> I love that being a business therapist, a mindset coach, you know, a lot of my clients come to me and they think that their business is not thriving because they're not creating content or they're not showing up. And honestly, it's a underlying deeper rooted thing, right? Whether it's not addressing unresolved childhood trauma or being bullied in the past. And now they carry that into adulthood, which then is why they won't show up. And I always tell my clients to five X the Y. Ask yourself why five times. Why am I not showing up? Because um, I'm not confident. Why are I confident? I was never confident. I was bullied in the past. Why were you bullied in the past? Because I used to come to school with tattered clothes. Why? My parents were on drugs. Why? So then you understand it's not because you're not confident. It's because there was some unresolved childhood stuff that needs to be addressed. And once you start working through that, you're going to be more apt to do, to do the X, Y, Z. And what I love about your brand is that it's holistic. It's not just one, one thing, because no matter what it is in business, there's so many layers and variables, right? Yeah. Um, Russell Brunson, he said, entrepreneurship is the area where you don't get to choose when you get to work on your personal development. It just literally lays in your 
your life. For example, if I want to go to therapy, I'm going to go and find a therapist. I'm going to make an appointment. If I want to book a life coach, same thing. But with entrepreneurship, you could get triggered or something can kind of face you and you're like, dang, I didn't even know that that was an issue for me. But just from navigating business, you find out. Does that relate in oh, any way? Oh my gosh, so much. So <laughs> much. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I, um, you know, realized about myself and my own, like, uh, spiritual and healing journey and like past traumas yep. that I realized on the job, like doing my business and, you know, dealing with customers and dealing with like obstacles on the day to day. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's so much that I still have to uncover. And um, obviously with the business and also, you know, in personal, in the personal life with like friends and family, but really, really hit hard whenever I was, you know, dealt with those walls while i was in my business you know working the day to day yeah um even like emails would just trigger me mm. certain things would trigger me and i'm like oh my god there's something deeper yeah and, and and this is the thing i don't think that's a negative i think as we grow we evolve and we become more aware and we understand that okay i'm not gonna be able to run from this issue i'm gonna have to address it head on Okay, who do I need to address it? What do I need? And we put our big girl panties on, our big boy panties on, or sorry, <laughs> big boy underwear on, <laughs> and we do what we need to do. Yeah. That's just a part of being a leader, being a, a a person who wants to do well. Like nobody wakes up and says, "I just want to suck today. I don't. I don't want to be my best self today." Everybody wakes up and they want to, but the thing that happens is something. There's some kind of block for some of us, right? And the resources that you provide in most of your businesses help address the blocks. Like when I came to your event, there was someone from confidence to networking. You know, I talked about mindset and mental health, so many things. And you can't really get that in most communities. So I love what you're building. Thank you so much. And, and when you talk about like lifestyle and leadership and, you know, these obstacles and um, you know, I love what you do because that's very, that's essential. That's literally the core, like mindset. That's where it starts. Um, I had started this community back in 2019 and it didn't take off because my mindset and spirit and everything was unaligned. Yeah. It was in the, it was in the wrong place. Um, so whenever I started my healing journey and I started to shift a lot of things in me, that's when I started AS Society again. Yeah. And this was in 2022. So it took me from 19 to 22 to, you know, realize like, this is not, this is why it's not taken off. Mm -hmm. And literally the first event that we had in 2022, we like sold out. And I was just like, yeah, this is where it's at. This is where I was supposed to be. And I was supposed to go through this journey to get where I am now. Exactly. So it's so important what you do. And I'm, I'm just like, so in awe with like, because I don't, I've never really met anyone that does what you do. Yeah. Um, you know, well, thank you, first of all. And I want to acknowledge something by you listening to your gut and not shrinking and just doing it, going through the motion just because you said you were. That literally speaks volumes because you took that pause. You continue to do your work because it's the thing. Healing is a journey. Um, this series is really powered by my healing while building platform we're having a healing while building summit in june and i said you know what i want to kick this thing off now because healing is a journey building a business is a journey and once you realize that and you lean into it it helps to take the pressure off and it helps you to really sit in what you're building which is more aligned than trying to compartmentalize it and do it separately right yeah but the cool thing about what you did when you relaunched the AI Society, and now it's elevated to in life in life society or society. Yeah, which I love because I think sometimes we get so stuck in these names and these concepts that we don't want to part from them. What if you yeah. outgrew the nest? Absolutely. So I'm excited. Um, I know we got a couple people on. Whether you're here live or on the replay, let us know if you have any questions. And then uh, what I want to ask you is what do you have on the horizon that people can tap into if they're curious about learning more about your graphic design and your community and all of that good jazz? 
So as far as the community, um, we have a lot of events coming up. Um, first of all, uh, we have a Breathe and Brew that happens once a month. It's a mon It's one Monday a month. And we get together and we do a coffee meditation or tea or whatever drink you want. And then um, it's led by a class, nice. a class uh, that is being led by professionals in the area. Um, sometimes we'll have yoga. Sometimes we'll have, you know, art therapy. I mean, we had a hypnotherapist come and let, lead a session. There's every month is different. Mm -hmm. um, so that's Breathe and Brew. And then that's completely free. You just have to register with the link in bio. Um, and that's here in Gainesville, Georgia. So I don't know where you're listening or viewing from, but this is in North Georgia. And then um, we have a spiritual retreat coming up in May, May 3rd through the 5th. The pre-register or wait list is already on the website with link in bio as well. And that's going to be limited. It's very intimate. Um, we have an itinerary from Friday to Sunday and we do different activities. All of that information is going to be sent out to the pre-registrants. And then we have outings we have um paint i mean uh art therapy with me i mean there's a lot of events coming up yeah. this year there's a lot of um events that we're planning on announcing for the summer and for the fall so just go to our instagram follow us on instagram and also for all of the information it's on the link tree on the bio as well if you want to know about upcoming events awesome Lots of good stuff coming up. And I know you and I are going to talk about partnering later on, too. So yep. we can have something at the space. I would love to to have something in this location because I feel like when some people hear Gainesville and they don't live over there, like, okay, that's too far. Well, what if we brought the magic to you in your area, too? So I can't wait to chat with you about that. Um, I haven't asked this question on my series, but my, my, I just got a download that I should ask it with you. And we'll both answer it, okay? I can go first, just so I don't want I don't want you to think I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's fun. What would you tell your 15 year old self if you could talk to her right now, right? 15 year old self. What would you tell her? So for me, oh I would tell my 15 year old self to enjoy your childhood. That <clears throat> you are doing more than enough that i am so proud of you because you are strong and you've been able to overcome some of the toughest roughest things in your life and you're going to be an adult soon so don't rush it <laughs> oh, that's so good that's so good that's what i would tell her <laughs> um i really like that um for me i feel like i didn't I didn't really rush my childhood and my mom like did a really good job at like trying to, you know, keep us as like, mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you know, I still like played with Barbies and stuff, like probably up to like 16, right. but I would tell her that the man, the guy that she's starting to date ain't going to be the one Oop. and she needs to be clear on that because heartache is going to come. That's not going to be the one you're going to get, you're going to marry to. Mm -hmm. He's not the world. He's not the universe. And then secondly, I'm trying to think like 15. Um, yeah, I would probably tell her like, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. Like you're gonna figure it out because I've been an artist all my life. And the things that I've like, the obstacles I guess that I faced is people not like believing how much power art has. Yeah. Um, you can see my paintings in the back. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, and so I think that I would tell her like everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna figure it out, and one day, which hasn't happened yet, but I would tell her one day your art is going to heal people. Mm. Manifesting that. <laughs> so you're saying that your art hasn't healed people yet? I mean I don't know, but I would because disagree. I'm because I want to tap into the art therapy more. I I'm just manifesting it. Gotcha. But you've already been doing it though, right? Yes. So. You you have been healing people. I hope so. Even though they may not have came to you and said, hey, I'm healed through that. The whole action of it is therapeutic. I'm not even a true traditional artist, but anytime I have the pain and sips and we are painting and having those conversations and just decompressing, that's healing. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> I, didn't, I mean, that was not my Absolutely. goal. 
but I'm going to be real honest with you. I want you to claim it. You are healing. Whether it's verbally said it's said to you or not, your art is def like me looking at it behind you is evoking emotion. So let me just stop because this is we're not in session. <laughs> but I'm rooting for you. Now, do you go by Alex? Either either one. Alex is is um my family and friends. So I'm from Habersham County. So that's like north, north, north Georgia. Okay. And I grew up with Alex. That's my middle name. Okay. But when I moved to Gainesville, I just went by Myra. Okay. So it really depends. It doesn't matter. I, I want to make sure I, I know... address you appropriately. That's all. <laughs> well, that's fine. A lot of people call me Myra or my, and then my family and like, you know, childhood friends, they still call me Alex. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, listen, I want to thank you so much for chatting with me today. I knew I couldn't get the list of questions. It was very, very fluid. Um, I just kind of vibe with the energy and I definitely wanted you to be on. Um, guys, make sure you're following both of us right up here, um, whether you're live or on the replay. And Alex, I will definitely be in, in touch with you and thank you so much for joining me. I today. did want to add one one last thing. Totally. We, are, um, we launched um, Women, Women Unleashed, which is a live that we're doing. I think I talked I talk, talk to you about it already. Yes. But um, if you have something to say, um, about your story, anything that, you know, could connect to the women that are following. Um, like I said, any topics that you think that will help a woman right now in this, in these times, um, reach out to me, send me a DM, um, and I'll, and I'll reply because we need more women to talk about topics that are taboo in society and whatever you can contribute. You don't know, you know, how many lives you can change. And I already said yes. Yes. Right. So I just, we just got to get mine on the date. But thank you for sharing that because there's so many people that have a story and want to share, but they don't have a space or no one's giving them the opportunity. Alexis exactly. right here, con contract queen Alexis, she says she's interested. So by you being courageous and stopping me in my tracks and saying, <laughs> hold up, sis, I got something to say. Oh, yeah. Look at him. <laughs> I love you. Yes. I want to get more from the replay. So Alex, or sorry, Alexis, reach out to Alex, please. Um, Elijah Society. And if you forget, just let me know. I'll shoot you her info. And I can't wait to be featured on the Women Unleashed. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you no for problem. having me. Thank love you. you. Love everything you're doing. Sending you so much love and light. Hopefully I can see you in person soon because I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> uh, yes. And keep healing. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And let me tell myself, I'm going to keep healing too. <laughs> yes. We all need to keep healing. We never stop healing. We never stop learning, growing, or healing. Never. It's an evolution. It's a journey. And I want to say this, it's a working document. What yeah. I mean yeah. by that is it's a working document. It's going to look different. It might not be what you thought it would be, but it's when you, when you think of work and document, it gives you more flexibility and openness instead of being so rigid, like, oh, I was supposed to be uh, healed from this. My heart was supposed to be mended from this so I can do, no, it's all a process yeah. and you can't rush healing. Absolutely, yes, 100%, it's a journey. But I do wanna say, that you can't do it alone. I mean, there's there's a community of people that you can connect to. Exactly. This is why, you know, attending events, whether it's with, you know, Lashana, with me, with any other events um, that you can form a part of, you know, you can't do this alone. I mean, it's it's a whole lot easier when you do it with a community or other people that understand you and that are maybe going through something that you're going through and, um, you know, you can resonate with. Facts, thank you for that ad. All right, well, we're gonna meet soon because i gotta see you girl and yes. uh guys thank you for tuning in whether you're alive or um on the replay and our next healing while building segment is tomorrow and then we have another one on the 13th we are rocking and rolling guys if you love this share this replay in your stories and we'll see you next time have a great day Bye. Bye.